Hi guys, if you're watching this video, there's a decent chance that you've either been searching for a new home or at least considering searching for one. If so, then you're probably aware of the home inventory crunch that's going on right now. The latest market data for Triangle Area Real Estate illustrates the severity of this inventory crunch. Hey guys, in April 2021, which is the most recent month of available data, there was a 70% decrease in the supply of available homes compared to April of 2020. Because of this lack of inventory, I've been working on any and all information regarding newly announced new home communities coming to the Triangle Area market. You're going to want to go grab pen and paper because I'm about to let you guys in on my top three newly announced new home communities from May. Plus, don't leave early because at the end of the video, I've got a bonus community for you that might be the biggest announcement of all. So get ready. Hi guys, I'm Mike Sanders with the Mike Sanders team at Remax United. In March of this year, there was less than one month supply of new home. What this means is that if no one else put their home on the market, or if no newly built homes were to become available, we'd sell every available home in the Triangle in less than one month, leaving nothing else available for purchase. Yeah, this is pretty crazy and it's a little scary at the same time. In a normal balanced market, you typically find around a six month supply of available homes. Over the last several weeks, I've occasionally been bringing you guys up to date on some newly announced new home communities that have either been submitted for county approval or ones that have just been permitted and haven't yet broken ground. Well, here are three just announced communities hot off the press and one bonus community at the end of the video that you don't want to miss out on so let's dive in okay guys if you've been a longtime viewer to my channel you might have seen my video a while back on Longleaf Estate I've gotten tons of calls texts and emails inquiring about this community it's been one of the fastest selling new home communities in Northeast Raleigh ever since homes were first started here back in early 2018 much of this interest is based on pricing for the community which started in the high 200s when first breaking ground not to mention the incredible location. It's situated in Northeast Raleigh right off of super convenient US Highway 401 nearly halfway between Raleigh and Wake Forest. Well guys if you were one of the many buyers who missed out on this neighborhood I've got great news. Just announced their plans for a brand new community called Tucker Place to be nudged between Longleaf Estates and the adjacent Highland Creek neighborhood. KB Home filed plans for Tucker Place which call for 173 single-family detached homes to be situated on just under 50 acres off Cashland drive in Northeast Raleigh. Another reason that makes this location so fantastic is the fact that it's just around the corner from Forestville Crossing Shopping Center, which is anchored by a Lowe's Foods grocery store. It contains several restaurants. There's an anytime fitness facility. There's several other retail and commercial businesses. There's a recently added location of Wake Med Primary Care. School assignments haven't yet been assigned, obviously, since it's a brand new community, but we'll take a look at some of the nearby school ratings. Nearby Harris Creek Elementary is rated a B plus by the website niche.com. Roseville Middle gets a rating of B+, and Roseville High School gets a rating of a B-. If you're a nature lover, cyclist, or a hiker, you'll love this location because you're only about five minutes from Horseshoe Farm Park, which is a 146-acre nature preserve with huge open spaces. There's picnic shelters suitable for groups up to 100. The centerpiece of the park is the trail, which accesses the 27-mile Noose River Greenway system. KB Home hasn't published any specific information on pricing or home designs yet, but based on what they've been building in their next closest community up in Freeman Farms in Youngsville, I guess that they'd probably be building similar type homes here, which would probably be homes ranging in size from around 1,450 square feet all the way up to maybe 2,300 square feet. As far as pricing is concerned, I'm not even going to take a wild guess based on the insane market that we've been seeing lately. I'll just guess and say that homes will be priced under a million. Okay, well, $2 million. By the way, guys, if you'd like more information on Freeman Farms in Youngsville, check out my video, Top Youngsville Homes Under 300000 Just click the link above. Okay, the next big announcement involves a new project that's just six minutes down the road from Tucker Place. This new project is listed as Hunter's Point, which calls for 106 homes to be situated across 36 acres of land in Northeast Raleigh, which is less than 10 minutes from the closest I-540 interchange. This new community is being planned by Lennar, which coincidentally was the builder of the incredibly popular Longleaf Estates just up the road. First, this is an area that's already mostly residential and is just around the corner from Noose Crossings, which has been one of the most popular Northeast Raleigh neighborhoods since it was originally built back in the early 90s. Second is the fact that a major road widening project was recently completed of the surrounding roadways, which will make commuting into and out of the area much easier for years to come. Finally, this area seems to be generating recent interest from local developers with the 
announcement of several other communities in this quadrant of Raleigh. Like Tucker Place, just eight minutes away, Hunters Point is likewise super convenient to I-540 and Horseshoe Farms Park. One other neat fact about this location is you're sort of halfway between two separate I-540 interchanges. So if you're heading down to Wrightsville Beach for a quick getaway, you're only two hours away from getting your toes in the sand or your butt in the sand if you're like me and leave your beach chairs at home. Like Tucker Place, there isn't any information yet on public school assignments, so I'm guessing it might be similar to those of Tucker Place. There are several really good charter and private school options nearby, like Endeavor Charter School, which is only about a 10 minute drive. The website niche.com ranks Endeavor Charter School with an A plus for academics. You've also got nearby Private Wake Christian Academy, which gets an overall grade of B plus and an A minus for academics. Watkins Grove preliminary plans call for 69 home sites to be built across 26 acres near the intersection of Old Watkins Road and Forestville Road. This area of Raleigh hasn't seen much in the way of new homes in quite a while. The last major new community to be built in this area is Massey Preserve, which initially broke ground back in 2007. Although pricing and home specifics haven't been announced, based on what's recently been sold in this area, I'd speculate that homes within this community will most likely start in the low 400s. Again, and school information is most likely going to mirror that of both Tucker Place and Hunters Point. One thing that you're going to want to keep in mind about this specific location is the fact that there's been some recent buzz about new development in this area. Raleigh has a really good handle on managing growth in my personal opinion. However, with this new growth comes some growing pains. So just be prepared for this regardless of where you move. My main concern with this location is the fact that currently this section of Forestville Road is only two lanes wide, which will most likely at some point be widened like nearby Mitchell Mill Road. Just keep in mind until this happens, traffic could be an issue, especially during morning and afternoon commute times. Okay guys, here's my bonus neighborhood. This next development is going to be a major addition to East Raleigh along the Newburn Avenue Nightdale Boulevard corridor. Recently announced are plans to build a huge mixed-use development to be called Edgewater Commons, which is going to feature up to 700 multifamily residential units and 200,000 square feet of commercial space. This project is to be situated on 60 acres at 5000 Raleigh Beach Road, which is outside the Raleigh Beltline at the intersection of Newburn Avenue and North Rogers Lane, which is across from the Edgewater Place Shopping Center. The company has already started work on the first phase, which is set to see 300 townhomes and apartments located at the intersection of North Rogers Lane and Sunrise Valley Place, according to the project developer. What's so great about this news is that there hasn't been much of any new home construction in this part of East Raleigh in quite a while. One of the last being the first phase of the adjacent Edgewater community back in the early 2000s. If you've previously wanted new construction in this part of Raleigh, then your choices have pretty much been limited to nearby Nightdale. Another reason why this is good news is because from this location, you're only about three minutes to the closest I-540 interchange, where you're only about 25 to 30 minutes from Raleigh-Durham Airport. You're also only about five minutes from the nearby shops at Midway Plantation, which contain major retailers like Target, Dick's Sporting Goods, Best Buy and Home Depot. From this location, you're just down the street from Milburny Park, which provides access to the Milburny Dam Canoe Access Point to the Noose River. There's even a really cool beach-like area along the river where you can take the kids and pretend you're at an actual beach. Hey guys, in case you missed it, if you're searching for a new home and you're not finding what you're looking for, then you really need to take a look at my video on Just Announced New Communities, where I talk about brand new home communities that are either in the permitting stages or the pre-construction stage. So you'll be in the know before everyone else. Just click the link above. Hey guys, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified the moment I have a new video out. And whatever you do, get Mike and get moved.